What's up guys and welcome to another guide video. In this video we're going to be going over Paradox. Very very fun character. I like the space and time aspect to them. If you guys do enjoy this video you can always leave a like on this video and also make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to always get notified when I do upload a brand new video here on YouTube and enjoy. So let's go over their abilities right first. Throw a grenade that begins at pulsing when it lands. Each pulse applies damage, movement slow, and stacking damage amplification for Paradox against the victim. Them. So what it looks like, you basically hold it up like this. It's a grenade. It has an area effect, right? This is going to be very, very good for clearing waves of minions and also putting pressure on an enemy. Say if the enemy is behind like a structure like this or behind, I don't know, behind this right here. You could even chuck the grenade behind there, right? So it looks like this. And as you can see, it's pulsing and doing tons of damage and also having that movement slow on the enemy. So as long as you land this near them, it'll instantly blow up on the ground and you can get two people more than one person you can even throw it on walls and things like that if someone's hiding in the corner say if they're hiding on this corner they're in the corner right here instead of throwing it on the ground you can even throw it on the wall if you really wanted to yeah for the most part very very good grenade very good for lane clearing and everything like that the next ability is time wall create a time warping wall that stops time for all enemy projectiles and bullets that touch it enemies that touch the wall will take damage at a as a percentage of their max health and be briefly slowed so what it looks like oh, bam you can put this wall anywhere you want in front of you and there you go the enemies cannot shoot through it no projectiles can get through it as well so very very good ability it's going to block Why all the damage and yeah, if they go through it, if the enemies go through it, they'll obviously get slowed, like it said, and take a little bit of damage as well. Percentage of their max health and be briefly slowed. So very, very cool ability. Definitely cool for laning and won't be wanting somebody. You can throw that out there and then throw your shield up while you're shooting them and they cannot do anything to you, right? It's kinetic carbine start charging your weapon and gain increased movement speed once it's fully charged your next shot will release the energy dealing spirit damage and applying a time stop to the enemy hit the damage dealt is amplification of your current weapon damage so the more weapon damage you have the more damage you're going to do of course you can slow time on yourself by pressing right click while an empowered shot is available so what it looks like there you go here's the ability going and as you can see it's getting charged so you're fully charged right now you shoot it at full of charge and then it goes away if you don't shoot it long enough right so you can shoot it early on we'll do like no damage and i don't think you'll stop them have a time slow on them the only time that happens if it's fully charged so fully charge shoot them and there you go you will slow them down and they'll be stuck for a split second and then you can shoot them also you slow down time by being in air right so if you have it charged and then you jump up in the sky and as you can see, I'm slowly falling down. I'm slow-mo until you shoot it and release the shot. So this shot's really good for basically shooting somebody across the map, killing them if they're low HP, and or, of course, slowing them down tremendously by literally pausing them in time for, like, around two seconds, a brief couple seconds, right? So 0 0.5 seconds max stop duration. Pretty insane for that 0 0.5, almost a full second of them literally stopped, right? So very, very nice, right? I love this ability. It's really cool. And it's really cool that you can literally like be in slow motion. So you can really aim how you want to aim. So their last ability is a swapping ability. So fire a projectile that swaps your position with the target enemy hero. While the effect occurs, you gain your lifestyle and the enemy takes damage over time. So as you see, here's an enemy right here. If they want, want to swap the place with them, you literally just point at them. You hit it and there you go. They take damage while they are in that kind of transition animation and they take damage over time and spirit lifesteal as well. So really, really cool ability. So what would you do with this ability is basically you go over here to your guardian. So say if there's an enemy near you and your guardian, you have your ultimate up, say if you're fighting them over here. So I'll place somebody down here. So there's an enemy right there. Say if I'm fighting them, fighting them, fighting them, they're at the stairs. Oh, I can reach them. So let me switch spots. And now he's in my guardian and he's going to get killed by my guardian. So that's mainly what you want to use that ability for you switch places wherever they are so again if you're in the sky a little bit you switch places and there you go right you can't even do this if you are in your spawn point 
at the end of the game. So say if you're in your spawn, you're fighting an enemy team that's at your base, you can even go on top of a little wall that they have and try to swap spawns, with, try to swap sides with somebody, and they'll hopefully fall into your spawn and take tons of damage. So say if these enemies are shooting me right here, and then there's an enemy over here, right? So say if there's two right here and they're shooting me, they're shooting me, and then there's an enemy over here shooting me, shooting me, I can be like, oh, I'm fighting these guys, and now I can dip out, right? I can do this, press my ultimate on him, and then literally just bounce, you know, try to get out of there the best you can. So it's a really good ability for using, of course, putting them in the guardian spot or maybe a walker, switching spots with them like that. And also it's really good for getting out of position, right? Getting out of there, saving yourself as well. So yeah, other than that, let's get right into the shop items. So usually the shop items, I like following just anybody on the public shop because I, I don't really make builds at the moment, but you can follow like the top builds. Some of these builds have, are a little outdated, of course, they're all going to be unless you scroll down all the way down to the bottom and maybe find somebody that made a decent build down here that is not popular yet, right? I like to find other ones as well that have a lot more items. So usually like this guy, this guy's got a lot of items in here as well that you can pick from. So I don't have to go and search through the menus for what I want. But for the most part, you are building your headshot booster damage. You're building more of a glass cannon build. You can build more of a glass cannon build where kills grant permanent weapon damage for five stacks sharpshooters always a good one for deal additional weapon damage when beyond a minimal distance from your target because you're always far away with paradox for the most part you got long range as well another item for long range killing so everything like that and also burst damage so you always want improved burst damage because once you have improved burst damage that's going to be really good for your three like i said this ability is insane for burst damage now there's one combo you can actually do where it's not that effective but it's a little effective you can actually throw your time bomb under you your grenade and then instantly pull somebody into it so change places so what i mean by that is this Setting a bomb. and you can do that they'll get damaged if you do it really fast they'll get damaged twice you can shoot them and then they'll get damaged twice right there so you can do that it's just going to be a little bit more you know situational but other than that, let's get right into the gameplay. So off the rip here, I'm just going to be, you know, staying main, trying to shoot these orbs the best I can, because the way to win your early game is going to be shooting those orbs and making sure you get the most souls that you can, right? And making sure you shoot that minion that's got that health on him on his back. Right here, I'm going to apply some pressure to the Abram because I am going against Abram here. So I have a little bit of advantage as in a range of advantage. I'm going to try to stay away from him the most of the game just to, you know, get away from him because he is going to basically try and rush me down when it gets to mid game. So I have to be careful of that. So right here, I'm going to look for it. There you go. I'm shooting it and I'm going to kill that first. So you always want to kill that minion first because then you'll win that lane way faster because like I said, he won't get healed from that minion anymore and i'll be getting the heals and he won't be getting the heals as he's going for mine as well i could have went for that deny which i did go for the deny he actually went to the right on my right side a little bit by dashing around i'm gonna throw a little pulse grenade just in case he tries to push up here i keep using my carbine to basically get a decent shot in to stun him a little bit, do extra damage, and I'm just gonna keep poking at him. You always wanna poke at your opponent when you are in lane as Paradox. It's very, very useful if you poke. My teammates are trading kills and everything as this is all happening as well. I'm always keeping an eye on my bottom right on my mini map to make sure there's no enemies pushing and no enemies are on the mini map that are going to become ganking me, right? So throw a time ball at the minions. You can use your ability on minions as well, which you usually wanna do to clear that wave faster. So you can be a little bit ahead right here, put another carbine shot onto him, stun him, and do a decent amount of damage. I'm just going to keep doing this, rinse and repeat over and over again. And also I'm upgrading mainly my carbine first. So it's going to go a three, which is my third ability to snipe him basically and slow him down, poking damage. And then I'll go into my pulse grenade, then my time wall last, right? So right here, I use my time wall, block some damage off. I could have placed a little bit better. I try to go for a good shot there. I actually missed, so I should have flicked to him, but you know, is what it is. I missed. If I had my time grenade up right now, I would throw behind that wall that he's standing at right here to basically make a move. I think I tr almost tried to do that, but it didn't come up in time. So I'm just going to throw it at the minion wave right here and kill that wave as fast as I can. Kill the orbs as well before I run out of the ammo in my clip, of course, right? As you can see, I'm 24 seven putting pressure on him. That's going to be with any character, any other hero in your lane that you're facing, right? Wait until I fully charge so I can stun him with it. Put a little shield up just in case he tries to shoot back or whatnot. 
He is very far away. Looked like he ran away pretty good. So I'm trying to throw a random gr time grenade down there. If it blows him up, cool. If it doesn't, whatever. At least I tried. Another cool tip is, you know, make sure you get him half HP, the minions, and then full punch them. So charge punch because you will one hit them and then get the orb instantly, right? So it's a way faster time. I'm going to be putting some pressure on the Guardian as well. Before I go back, I have 1,400 souls. And now he's going to push me, right? So I have to be careful here. I'm going to stun him. I'm going to throw my time grenade at him and then the time wall. For the most part, I'm just sitting here protecting the lane and looking out for Abrams. A little graphical glitch in the theater mode, but, you know, it is what it is. So I'm going to throw my wall here just because if Abram comes back, then he can't really shoot me through that, right? It's a wall, so it'll protect me, right? I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to buy my set, my other item. My items are going to be some movement speed, so some sprint, some more damage for my spirit, and then I have some, if I get a headshot, you know, take do more damage, and a basic magazine, which is going to help me with my clip size, right? 50 bullets. So here, he is going to push me here, so we're going to see what happens. So here, he uses his ult, he pushes me. I wasn't expecting it. And I'm pretty sure I was about to shoot him with the carbine shot. He never showed up, right? So here, I'm just gonna keep going back, keep trying to run away the best I can. Put a wall up, just protect myself, and then shoot my minions once again. Try to go back to farming the lane, because he's pushing my lane really hard now, and I can't kill the enemy minions that fast. I'm actually gonna get ganked here by Yamato as well. I'm surprised I didn't die here, actually. But juked her a little bit, went back over here, went around the corner charged up my carbine to try to look for Yamato, try to stun her out. I'm basically using my guardian as a protection knight, right? I'm going to get out of here. I'll go speed boost back because I don't know if Yamato's there to try to stun me out of air and kill me. So I stayed alive there because I went back, but my walker's too far away. By the time I get to my walker, I'm going to die, right? So I went right back and went around the corner in that little pillar. So this little pillar right here, I went around and tried to stay alive. Here, I went back into the lane after I was healed up. My shiv came into my lane to try to help me out right he killed the abrams for me so that was good i thought i heard someone else around here i was looking around but didn't see anybody so that was good right there so basically what you want to do in that situation like i said run back into your guardian make sure you play around your guardian if you're gonna get ganked in your lane play around your guardian because your guardian's gonna do tons of damage and it's gonna protect you try to play around his hitbox so they shoot the guardian instead of you he's a pretty big meaty target and or try to play around pillars like i did my shiv ran out, went to go back to help his other teammates in yellow. So, help my team in yellow. He went over there. Since there's a lot of players over there, I am going to punch my minion. So here, I'm going to try to get up here. Try to look for the Abrams. I did actually somehow miss. So, I missed my shot. Placed my wall there just in case he tried to go up. But I am getting pushed down by him. Getting charged and everything. Go back right into my guardian and then use my ult on him. To switch him around and try to get some damage on the guardian from the guardian right you always want to use that ultimate in switching your position around to try to get abrams in a worse position or whoever's on your guardian in a worse position near your guardian stun him here with my carbine of course and then throw my frag on him i'm gonna try to pre-punch that when he came down he's super low right now so i could try to kill him i actually tried to kill him here but I did not have my three up, which is my carbine, and yeah, if I had that up, I would have been able to kill him. I was staying up here, used my wall to try to shoot him a little bit more when he ran back, but it's all good. He went to go buy something, and yeah, I'm just putting a lot of pressure on him, putting a lot of pressure on his minions as well, while I pay attention to that minimap to make sure Yamato doesn't come back, or another character doesn't come back to try to gank me, right? And my team is not telling me if, like, they don't see a character or anything like that. They're just playing the game normally. So I got to really pay attention to that map. I saw Abrams over here. As you can see, he's over here. He was trying to come to my left right there. But I push him here just because my guard, just because I killed the guardian. And then there you go. Easy kill. So if I go back here. So, of course, like I was saying, I'm pushing up normally. I'm looking at that mini map. I'm making sure you know no one else is trying to you know come after me i saw abrams do this so i was doing a lot of damage to the guardian i know the guardian's gonna die soon right i saw abrams over here i knew he was to my left still trying to look for a kill on me i have 480 health almost my max health right now and i don't know why he's even trying to look to kill me so this is a misplay on his part he's over to my left i know he's over to my left but i know the guardian's super low so i said you know what he's over there it looks like he's not gonna push me he's gonna go back so i'm gonna kill the guardian 
As soon as I kill the Guardian, Abram should get out of there. He should not push me. This was a big mistake by him. He should have just ran over here to the left, ran over here somewhere, and just dipped out. But he wanted to pick a fight with me. He wanted to stay over here, so he died for it. So right here, I tried to ult him the best I could, because if I ulted him, he basically would have been dead. He would have took some damage, and then I would have shot him in one burst, and he would have died. So I missed my ult here, which really sucked. But then he bounced forward. He used his lifesteal as well. I said, uh oh, let me punch him real quick. Did a charge punch to get some damage in. Shifted out of there because I knew he was going to have a melee ready for me, right? So shifted right out of there real quick. I threw my grenade down as well, just in case he tried to get closer to me. So I thought he was going to actually turn around here and try to face me more because, you know, Abram's got a strong punch, got a strong melee. So I placed that in front of me just in case I can run into that and make it so he gets damaged while I am in my grenade and I'll be a little bit safer. But then I saw him do this and the farther he gets away, I'm going to use my carbine. So I'm going to charge my carbine up and I'm going to wait until it's max so I can just almost one hit him, freeze him because getting it max does freeze them for the seconds it does, or not the seconds, but you know, the 0 0.5 seconds or whatever, and then kill him. So had my carbine, did not want to pre-shoot it because it wasn't going to stun him. As soon as I hit full charge, bow, and then easy one burst. And then I was going to go for a burst into a full charge melee because that's what you usually want to do when you are close to people like that. So very easy kill there don't know why abrams went back into me but that's basically how you play that situation and now look at the mini map while i'm going back to my shop you always want to look at the mini map if your team's not saying anything look at the mini map i am also going to be farming a lot in this game so go back to the farm area i should have actually farmed a little bit more you can always farm more you know um right here i went to the big farm over here cleared this out used my ability cleared it out and yeah but usually when you do kill a guardian though you do want to start ganking other lanes and helping other lanes try to kid that guardian down because as soon as the first guardian is down you can't really push the walker by yourself unless you're really powerful right so you always want to go gang and switch switch lanes and farm up I'll be more talking about the kills in this video that i get rather than the deaths because the deaths are usually like i get ganked there was a 2v there's a bunch of 2v1 and 3v1s 4v1 situations where i'm just out of position and i'm too pushed in so you want to be careful about that because i do that a lot where i overextend a little tiny bit and i do like a more risky play style so i do die a little bit more than usual than a normal person would but usually you want to play safe play in your back line play on your side of the map so this is my side of the map right here right so you kind of want to play like through this line right here if i could draw a line you kind of want to play this line right here and just play on your side get your camps and i was being a little too ballsy and pushing into them so that's why i died quite a few times this game but that's fine you know we still won the game overall so so here once again in lane i see my shiv get pushed up a lot i am gonna have my car beam try to stun the bebop but i actually missed throw my little pulse grenade over there as well just to get some damage in yamato's here as well I'm gonna throw my wall up. I hear Infernus behind me. I shift out, do a little jump after the shift, and now I'm just running away from the Infernus. Infernus is chasing me here, so I charge on my carbine. He's running into my walker as well, and then it's an easy kill because my shiv is there. So always try to back up into your walker and always try to run away into your guardians or walkers to stay alive and have them help you out as well, your teammates. Here, I saw my seven going super aggressive. They were all low HP from seventh ultimate, so it was easy kills. And yeah, now I'm just pushing up my team here, clearing the waves and trying to push this wave up so we can kill that walker, which we do kill the walker here, which is really nice, right? You always want to stick with your team after you get a bunch of kills and then go after the walker. Use your abilities to clear the waves real quick and then just shred the walker with your team the best you can, right? So again, if I got ganked like that again, I would do the same thing. Shift back, jump away, do the little shift to boost combo with the jump. And then, of course, play the safe. Mainly building items that are movement speed based. I have a little debuff on Infernus abilities. So, like, the so debuff reducer is really good for against a furnace. So, I'm usually getting that, right? Reduce the duration of all negative effects applied to you. So, I'm always buying that. And as you can see, I have that item. Just so the enemy in furnace can't burn me that long, right? Because his, his main gun is his fingers and they burn, right? Here, I heard someone behind me was Bebop, and I had my Carbine ready anyway, so it was a 500 sun hit. Killed him instantly. Don't know what Bebop was doing here. And then I'm going to try to run away, because I saw Infernus. I saw another hero as well, I think. I think it was Abrams. I kind of knew he was over there, so I just ran away. 
try to get these boxes here and try to meet up with my team and also go over here into the secret shop to buy some more items right so i'm gonna buy warp stone here because warp stone's easier to get away from the enemies i was having a tough time trying to get away from infernus and them so i have to buy time warp right or the warp stone i guess you would call it here i'm farming the enemy's camps always good always try to farm the enemy's camps i'm trying to get my money up in this point of the game like really bad because i'm only at 21k and the enemies like you know you got haze over here 28k 25k in furnace back from spawn here i actually saw vicious that was by themselves over to the left so put a little wall here and just go with my team here right i'm waiting for my full charge on the car beam stun them and then instantly throw down a grenade right so pretty easy because my team is with me and usually when you do gank an enemy with your team you win right go right back to farming remember i'm trying to get my farm up i am at 22k so i'm with my team a little bit but i'm trying to get it up right here i'm gonna stun somebody and then i'm also gonna throw a wall so that's on yamato i'm gonna stun her and then i'm trying to get out of here because i'm trying to see who is my warden fighting now which is the abrams so i'm gonna go after abrams help my teammate out here even go up on a zip line and shoot him instantly with a nice carving shot while in the sky throw my wall behind me also throw my grenade on the ground because i know my haze is there or their haze is there and then i'm gonna get owned and re-ganked so we got re-ganked there but then again i did kill abrams right i saw my warden pushing somebody and it was abrams right so i saw him pushing him hard i am going to try to throw a punch i sh shot him a little bit and i saw he was very low hp here so i was going to use my zip line here and then i'm going to instantly go into my carbine shot or carbine shot whatever you want to call it go up here and then i'm going to of course get a good flick shot on him because he's one hp don't need to fully charge that and that's going to insta kill him right so kill him real quick i turn around i see that oh i'm really deep in there and i see on my mini map that there's a lot of enemies here right so i'm going to try to get out of here but i'm going to put some damage in and at least i get some damage in before i die maybe my team can clean it up we don't clean up the kills after this we basically get wiped here but that's fine i still got abrams so at least i got one for one it's not one for zero right it's not like I didn't kill anybody. So I rolled back here, try to dodge the Infernus from using his flame right here with my roll and jump. So try to dodge that, and I did, which was good. And then he just ran over to the right. I threw a wall right here just in case there was another person that was coming from this way. I did not know at the time because now I'm more focused on the game rather than my minimap, right? It's hard to focus on this little minimap over here. So then I looked to my left, and I saw Hayes harassing my warden and i'm like oh gonna die here i knew i was gonna die at this point because i saw haze there and i knew that infernus was behind me so yeah i basically knew i was gonna die i try to get out of there though try to throw some abilities down before i died i didn't want to burn my ultimate or anything you know just try to get out of there so i instantly went to throwing my grenade on the ground so my pulse grenade right here right on top of haze so she can't get really that close to my warden my warden is about to die so i wanted to try to save him so that's why i'm throwing a grenade right on top of him so haze can't get that close it worked for a split second but eventually my warden didn't get shredded so now the whole enemy team's on me and i basically just get owned here try to dash out I was going to use my warp stone to get out of there, but got pulled and blew up by Bebop. So all good. I still killed somebody that was worth it to me, at least for me killing somebody. Not so much for my other teammate that died warden, but you know, it is what it is. So I'm coming back from spawn. I'm speed boosting on the zip line. I got my zip line speed boost in and I'm coming back from spawn trying to kill these guardians, the enemy guardians. So here, try to kill these enemy guardians, throw a time bomb right in the middle of the guardians, which is a very, very good thing to do. You always want to throw it in the middle because it'll damage both of them instead of just one of them, right? So clearing the little minions first and then going after the guardians. At this point, I kind of knew we were going to win the game because we're so pushed on there. We killed a lot of the guardians and I'm going to go immediately after the shielding. You always want to go after the amber shrines and try to get them down before anything else. So try to focus this without trying to focus the enemy team at all, really. Because most of them are dead, but Abrams, of course, anyways. So, over to the next shrine. And eventually kill that. Now, I'm looking for somebody. As soon as those shrines are dead, it takes some time for the prospector 
for the patron to get activated through the animation so i'm instantly after i kill both of them i'm instantly looking for another target and that's with any character in this game any hero do the same thing instantly looking for a target i see someone up there which is yamato in the sky don't know what she's doing but she's jumping around so i'm gonna charge my three which is great carbine and stun her in the air so wait for almost 100 percent. i actually hit her for 600 and something i did stun her a little bit but she ran back and I actually didn't land in her spawn. She actually landed down here, which is actually pretty funny. I got up here with my teammate. Placed a little shield up here for my teammate, which is my two, my time wall. Place it up here for my shiv to stand up here if you wanted to. We did get bounced off by the vicious, which vicious is broken at the moment, in my opinion. So hit us off. Here, I saw Bebop go up here and have his... Uh, you know beam and then the patron did get destroyed by my teammates that were over here shooting it so that's good but beep bop is over here using his all on my teammates so i gotta be careful here now i am going to swap with somebody which is the abrams and he dies from me swapping with him he was very low anyways so that's why i swapped with him and then had my teammate shiv kill him because he's always next to me and then i rolled back into safety or try to at least right try to roll jump into safety Beep Bop's destroying me right here, so I'm going to use my Warp Stone, which I bought earlier in the game. Warp Stone's a really good ability to get around, and if you're getting CC'd or you're getting... You have to get away from these guys that punch you a lot, like Abrams, and then Beep Bop that hooks you a lot. You get away easily with Warp Stone, right? So I get away with the Warp Stone. I go to this corner over here to my left, and I'm like, wait, I can just pop, pop my car Carbine. So I did. I instantly warped, pop my Carbine. And there you go. Hit him right in the face. So again, before I basically warped, I already pressed my carbine and then I instantly pressed my warp stone. So kill him really, really quick while he was up there. Always pop your carbine against a bebop. Pretty easily kill if they are in their ultimate. Run down here. A lot of glitchy on my screen. I place a wall right here. These guys are typing. Well, but I place my wall right here. Time wall to protect my team that's right here on the stairs. And threw a little grenade in there as well to get some damage in the best I can. And now we're just shredding them and we're going to win the game. So, focus the boss. Pretty easy here. I'm going to try to wait for my wall to come up again. I was going to place a wall randomly there, but yeah. So, yeah, we won. But for the most part in this game, I was literally just trying to counter the CC that, you know, from Bebop, from Abrams. I did all right. I didn't do the best. Listen, I did eight and eight. So I basically went even. I didn't do bad. I didn't do terrible. I didn't do that good either. So I played even here. I did all right. The main problem I had in this game was mainly my farming. I wasn't farming good enough. And that was my mistake. Of course, you have to learn to go and farm more, farm the lane more and farm the, you know, other creeps that are in the jungle area so you definitely have to get your farm up because then i would have been over here with these guys but luckily we pulled through my shiv carried and my seven carried as well i was communicating with them too in the game overall though it was still a good game we still won the outcome was good and yeah my eight deaths was mainly from just being in a bad position and never one v wanting really there was only one death i had with a with a raise that was in a 1v1 because I choked and missed my abilities and she shredded me. But all the other deaths were from like a 1v2, 1v3, and so on. I was in I was just in bad positioning, right? Yeah, you got a position on your side mainly. Yeah. Overall, really fun. I think there was actually a killing in the replay that I remember getting where I actually did swaps swap the Abrams into I think it was the Abrams or Hayes or someone into my guardian and my teammates killed him very very fast because the guardian was hitting him and actually punched him and everything so the swap is insane his ultimate is crazy so her ultimate is crazy so make sure you use that ultimate to your advantage of swapping characters wherever you are swap them into your guardian swap them into your back line and then let your team kill them and etc so yeah what do you guys think about paradox what do you guys think about her kit and her abilities if you guys need any more help with her kit and her abilities then please leave a comment down below so yeah that was my guide for paradox i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did you can at least leave a like on this video and also make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to always get notified when i do upload a brand new video here on youtube and yeah guys peace